Hello, mortals. I am Sargeras. My story is vast. I have lived countless lifetimes by your measure. But for me, it has been but a drop in the endless stream of eternity. I will share my tale with you, so you may yet grasp what infinite power I hold. And you may yet accept what doom comes to all who oppose me. So I 
vanquish all those who meant to harm this universe. I called upon my brethren, and as such, Agrimor was assigned to aid me in battle. He had little experience when he arrived, but I shaped him quickly into a bulwark of unstoppable might.
as a friend, Marco. Fear is something you can relate. I was afraid because I knew the only way to defeat the Void was to defeat reality. The universe could only be safe if we made sure it did not exist. Is it not better to never exist than to exist and only know torment? I had a solution for a perfect reality. However, to my dismay, the members of the Pantheon only saw flaw in my answer. Angered, I left them. They had not faced what I had faced. They had not seen all that I had seen. They would never understand my plan was the only one that could work. So if I had to ensure the universe's safety alone, then I would do just that. I was in despair because my answer was the only one that would ensure the safety of this universe. However, in my great and infinite strength, I still needed an army. An army capable of combating all who oppose me. I knew of a force capable of ripping apart reality itself. For I had banished that force personally. I traveled to the prison world which was now overflowing with demonic energy. How many had been banished in this realm? I shattered the prison and in that moment the energy exploded into your universe. The power was so vast that it burned me. The once beautiful being I was no longer. I was burned into a foe worthy of leading my burning legion. Speaking with all the demons, I offered them a simple choice. Join my cause, or die. And so I had my army, and our crusade began. The first planet fell. Though they knew pain from our cause, it paled in comparison from the torment I was protecting them from. I felt the Constellar, which was watching over this planet. You've met one of these beings in your time. Algalon. It was not long after my destruction of that planet that I had caught the attention of my former kin. Agrimar, my apprentice, arrived to see what I had become. He pleaded with me, claiming my cause was unjust. In this was not the way to fight the corruption. I ignored his pleas, for I knew there was nothing else to do against such a force. He challenged me, and we fought. It was a battle that would shake your entire planet with the might of our clashes. The power erupted so severely that both of our blades were shattered in the fray. The explosion heavily wounded my apprentice, and he retreated. My army scoured the universe before being confronted by the Pantheon. It was near the planet Nihilam where we crossed paths. A mantle, the first of our kind, cried out to me. In their continued search, they had found one of our kin, Azeroth. They told me of this grand planet which had been corrupted by many of the this planet was unaffected by the energies. The sleeping titan in Azeroth was far stronger than any of us that existed. And with its energy, we would be able to vanquish the void. I heeded these words carefully, but it mattered not. I knew what must be done. In one last plea of desperation, my student Agrimar approached me. He set aside his weapon. He spoke of our deeds. All we accomplished. I felt... Rage. I slew him right there. 
decided no one could replace her as guardian except for her own king. My essence finally had a worthy host. Much like a titan, Aequin was resistant to my power because she was already awake. But her unborn child, so easily to corrupt that one was. Just like a child titan, I accepted my influence over the fetus. The child was powerful. For a mortal, the strength was surprising. This was perfect. For young Petit was almost fully under my control. With the use of this child, I would exact my revenge on all the races of Azeroth. When Medivh's powers had fully awoke, Kil'jaeden informed me of the brutish race of orcs he had found, and managed to add their ranks to our legion. I needed the orcs for Aquin had locked my scepter in a tomb which was warded against all demons and races of Azeroth. Yes, orcs would do. Using the vast power of the young guardian, I promised Kul'dan a world to conquer beyond his wildest dreams. All to claim. It was not hard to convince Kul'dan, and thus the dark portal was open. The orc horde scoured and pillaged the lands of your blasted races, destroying everything. Their rage and malice so well fit my legion. The destruction all but assured the victory I so sought for. Resilient though are the denizens of your planet, the wretched mother of Medea. I discovered I now possess him. It was not long before his comrades arrived at the tower. Medivh's powers were great, but he was still overcome by his apprentice. Defeat! 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 Archimon and Kil'jaeden both failed. Nothing but defeat. None have stopped the Burning Legion. Our victories are endless. No planet has survived. All plans, though, have failed. All attempts unsuccessful. No more, though. For you see, you have sealed the fate of this planet. So long have I tried to manipulate the denizens of this world to let my army in. But so easy have you made it, for you have brought my endless legion to you. Foolish is your reign.